Glory to God. Yeah. I like to start everything off giving honor to God. Uh, to my bishop, Gervis Lacey Jr., to the judge, to Andrea Womack and the whole entire family. I wrote a statement out. My niece, Angel. I used to take her to church with me. The actions, the actions of Cameron Hodge, how he killed my niece, how you killed her in a cold blood, in a devastating way, has infected my family, my entire family, especially my son, Larry Smith. We haven't been the same since since October the 3rd, when her life was taken. You took our heart, our joy, our love. You took a part of, a part of us that can never be replaced. Not a day go by that we don't think about her. It hurts so bad. It hurt so bad that we would never get to talk to her or see her anymore. Angel Womack life is worth more than 20 years. Only God can give life and only God can take life. I want to know why did you kill her? You had time to think before you react. You went all the way home. Why did you come back? Why? You had time to think about what you was doing. I forgive you, what you did, but I know you was being controlled by an evil spirit. So you have, chance, you have a chance to repent to God and ask God to forgive you and give your soul to him. That's something I hope you would do. Age of birthday is coming up on February the 15th. I wish she was here so we can celebrate her, love on her. And you do a friend the way you did her. She's supposed to be your friend. So, Like she said, our life hasn't been the same. 
You know, we just went, went through this with my mother. My mama was killed by a man. And, and I just, I don't know, I just want to know why. Why didn't you come get somebody? We grew up together. Why you didn't come tell somebody? You got nothing to say. You just sitting there just looking at me crazy. But you better get your soul together and get yourself together and repent and ask God for forgiveness because he forgives, but I don't. I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. Thank y'all.
My name is Brandy. I have uh, quite a few words to say. I have a quite a few words to say to Cameron. Cameron, I must let you know that you have taken someone from us who was very special. She was our niece, our daughter, our cousin, and our friend. For some, she was an inspiration. For others, a comfort. For some, she was a light in a dark place and to others, a listening ear. But never was she ever at any time a stranger to anyone. If anybody was in need, whether she knew them or not, Asia would make it her business to meet it. But you already know this, because she didn't change just because she met you. Her only mistake in this was not knowing where to draw the line when it came to who deserved her love. That was Asia's only mistake in it. I thought about all the things that could be said. And I could stand here and tell you about how I feel, about what you've done, and about what so many already think of you. But to do that would be against the character of Asia. So instead, I want to do what Asia would desire for us all to do. And that would be to forgive you and let go, let you go, so that we can move on. That's the only way we can move on. Psalms 34 and 18 says this, Cameron. The Lord is near to those who are broken heart and saves the crushed in spirit. We crushed in our spirits, and our heart is broken. So you see, God is definitely with us right now. And I can find some consolation in the fact that God is with us right now. Because in and of ourselves, I don't know how we would do it. But God is with us right now. So we don't have no worries. But you, Cameron, on the other hand, have not considered your own. I feel sorry for you because when you aimed that gun and pulled the trigger, you shot to kill. But what you didn't realize is that you were pulling a bullet, putting a bullet into the heart of all that love you and everybody that love her as well. You have abandoned family, friends, brother, a woman, and most of all children who need you to support, protect, love, teach, and guide them through life. You have left them open to predators and other violent men like yourself. You have left them to learn life's lessons on their own. You have robbed them of the moments they would need in life for you to hold them, to wipe tears from their eyes, and tell them everything will be okay. Someone else will give them over to end marriage because you won't be able to be there to do it. And that is the greatest demise. You say you feel sorry for us, but the reality is we pity you because what you have done cannot be undone. But we as God's very own will be comforted. We will learn to live with what God has allowed through his strength. And because we understand the ways of God, and we understand that they are a mystery, we won't look to you, the justice system, nor anyone else to give us what you all did not make, and that is peace. But you, Cameron, my prayers for you is that you know that if Asia was standing here right now, if she was standing here today, in spite of you telling yourself to, what you want to tell yourself to feel better about what you've done, Asia's very words would not be slander. They wouldn't be hate. They wouldn't be revenge. But if Asia was standing here right now, she'd just say, forgive him. 
And to you, Cameron Hall, I say myself and my whole family, it's overwhelming, but we'll learn to overcome. But in the moment, we forgive you. Thank you. No, there's really no words to express how I feel. And because we are where we are, I can't express how I feel. But I'm going to read this to you. Here I sit today with tears in my eyes and broken hearted. It is because of you that my whole life has changed completely. On October the 3rd, Asia got in the car with you as a friend to go play basketball. She texted me two hours before you killed her and said, Mom, Larry's going to pick me up so I can go to work tomorrow. She was starting a new job. Two hours later, I got a call that Asia had been shot. She got in the car with you, Cameron, as a friend to play basketball. That was her last game of basketball. Not knowing that you would kill her because of the words that were spoken of you being a gay man after a basketball game. Because you weren't man enough to suck those words up. And then you have the audacity to sit with a smirk on your face as if it was okay for you to play like she pulled a gun on you. That's not in Asia's character. And you being a man that abused women, anyway, if she had had a gun, she should have used it. Cause you didn't have no problem using yours. You went past her. You drove past her. And then you and your brother, which is another coward, drove up on her, got out of the car. Not only did you shoot her two times, but to make sure she died, you shot her two more times. She took your phone calls from jail as a friend. She ran with you as a friend. With friends like you, we don't need enemies. You have shown no remorse, no compassion, 
and you think it's a good thing that you got 20 years. Well, 20 years is not long enough. No time is long enough for the life of my child. She was only 20 years old. You get to come back, maybe, and see your kids. Maybe. Maybe. But you must know you have to reap what you sow. So you too will feel the same pain one day. And then you had a audacity to make up a lie and try to say self-defense. It was premeditated is what it was. Because you had plenty of time to think about what you were going to do. And you made up in your mind that you were going to kill her. And your brother went with you to make sure that it all played out like y'all planned. And you can say whatever you want to make yourself feel better. But your soul will be tormented every day of your life. And 20 years is a slap in my face. Because my child's life is worth way more than 20 years. You are a habitual criminal. You just got out of jail. And then they give you a slap on your wrist with 20 years for a 20-year-old young lady life. That's, she's still full of life. She was still full of life. A friend. You have torn my soul out of me. Twenty years. Justice failed me. They slapped me in my face and they spanked you on your wrist. I want you to go to trial by jury. And if you felt like you could win on self defense, why didn't you go? Because I wanted the jury to hear your story and decide your fate. And I'm sure it would have been more than 20 years. No time will heal my pain. And I wish these was a day we could go eye for eye. Life for life. sit here for a minute and look at you with this smirk on your face, with this arrogant attitude. I can't sleep at night. Asia called my phone every morning. I'm sad when I get up and I'm sad when I go to bed. Some days I don't want to get out of bed. Some days I can't even eat. And you think 20 years was okay. Your soul is required in hell. And I brought a picture just to show you the happiness and joy in Asia. Can you see this? This is Asia. Full of joy in life. Before you took it. Full of joy 
way life. You brown eyed devil. Look at Asia. Don't look at me. Look at Asia. This is her with life. Look at this. Don't look at me. Your friend that you killed shot two times and that she was following you shot her two more times in her heart. You also shot me in my heart. 